Hey everybody, this is Dave Benson with Benson Home Computer Repair, and today I'd like to go over a uh, product, and it's called Active Password Changer. So if you're using Windows and you've typed in a local password, not a Microsoft online password, but an offline password in any of the current operating systems, uh, so that's Windows 10, Windows 8, uh, Windows 7, anything like that, uh, Windows, and it goes all the way back to Windows XP, and you've forgotten what your password is, you can download this program, you can create a bootable disk, and you can then use that disk to erase that password and give you access to the operating system. Here is the product. It's called uh, Active Password Changer. It's by a company called LSoft Technologies. Um, if you're just using it, you know, for yourself, then all you need to do is uh, buy the personal use version. It's $49.95. Uh, and you can continue to use it. It's not, it's not a one-use thing. You can use it, you know, if, if this for some reason happens to you again, you can use it again to accomplish the, uh, the same thing. Uh, so it's really handy to have around. Uh, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, purchase it, download it, and install it on a working computer. It doesn't have to be your computer, just any working computer, just so you can create the, uh, the bootable disk. And what happens after you install the program, when you run it, uh, you're going to see this come up. And what you're going to want to do is put either a CD or a DVD in your system. It, the program doesn't take up a lot of room, so you could easily use a CD. Uh, but you could also use a, a DVD. Just keep in mind you're you're only going to be able to use it on computers that have a uh, DVD drive. Uh, of course, one thing that you can do is spend another 40 bucks and buy an external USB DVD ROM drive, and then you're pretty much sorted. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your your CD or your DVD. You're going to put it in your drive. And then you're going, once, once the program figures out you've got a disk in there, then you're going to click on Next. Uh, and you're going to want to select, obviously, CD, DVD, Blu-ray. Then after you do that, uh, you're going to see this come up. And what I recommend you do is select DOS. It's a real simple program. What it's designed to do is look for what's called a SAM database on your computer and this is a database that contains uh, all your passwords and it just erases it so it's not really what it's doing is not that complicated so yeah i would recommend using the dos version uh so you click on that and then after you click on that and then click next then you're going to see the final screen which is as, as you can see the the program's only going to take up a meg and a half uh, and then, you know, you just check everything is, you know, what you want it should look like that. And then you click create and then it burns it to a disc. And then once it does that, then you boot, you take that disc out of your working computer and you put it in the computer where you're having the password issue. And then once you do that, uh, you boot to it. You may need to go into the BIOS and play around with the boot settings, you know, s make sure that the, the drive that has the disk with active password changer is set as the default uh, first boot device. And then you, uh, to do that, of course, you would hit F12 repeatedly uh, and then make your changes using your keyboard. Uh, and then you would boot to this disk. And when you boot to this disk, the first thing you see is going to be, the program is going to start and it's going to ask you if you want to boot to the CD-ROM or if you want to boot to um, uh, the active password changer uh, with CD-ROM support, and that's what you want to do. And then this will be the second thing you see once it actually starts running the program. And what you're going to want to do is type the number two in there for search for MSM databases, and then it will do that. And uh, obviously, you're going to want to choose your logical disk uh, uh, you know which logical disk it's searching but for most people you'll just have one logical disk so it's not going to ask you this um, it's going to do this it's going to say there's one uh, MSM database detected press enter to continue you press enter it'll look like this yes 
So, you know, you would go, oh, M. Brown is my username. So you just, you would type the number four in there, and then, uh, then it will give you this. Uh, and, uh, and, and you can get this PDF off of their website. So that's, you know, definitely something that you'd want to do, you know, before you used it is read over this pretty thoroughly. But basically what you're going to do is once you've identified your partition, your user partition, and you've uh, typed the proper number and it'll take you to this screen. And then all you have to do is just hit Y. You don't need to change anything because it's already set to password never expires and clear this user's password. So you hit Y, and then after you hit Y, uh, it should take you back to this screen. And then after that, really, all you should need to do is the three-finger salute, Control-Alt-Delete, and it should reboot into your operating system without even asking you for a password. Uh, yeah. Now, now, I would, if there's a way to back up your data first before doing that I would do that uh, but I've only had it fail once and I've used it a bunch of times uh, and I th I can I think that when it failed it was some sort of instability with the operating system try to remember your passwords if you can't remember your passwords I would use Elsoft Technologies active password changer it's a tool I use in my business and it definitely helps me out so that's LSOS Active Password Changer. Uh, I use it in my business. It really helps me out. And uh, if you feel technically competent enough to use it yourself, I would definitely use it because it, it's a real effective tool in my toolkit. I hope everybody found today's video helpful. And if so, I hope you like and share it. And I hope you subscribe to my channel. And if anybody needs any computer repair help in the Memphis Bartlett, Collierville, Cordova, Germantown, Midtown, or Millington area, uh, please call me, Dave Bensman, at Bensman Home Computer Repair, 901-830-4362. Uh, and as always, stay safe.